All right, guys, welcome back to another video in the last installment of my Door County, Wisconsin vacation. It is my last morning here. Unfortunately, I was gonna try and fish all day uh, Saturday and then uh, drive through the night back through Sunday, but I don't think that's very logical. I've got a new trolling motor to pick up on Sunday and install and then turn around and run back-to-back -back guide trips on Tuesday, but it's been an amazing trip so far. I hope you guys have enjoyed the content. Um, we're just gonna be uh, back here in this bay. We've got a big northwest wind today, so it's gonna make things a little tough, but we've got slick, calm conditions behind us, so it should be pretty good. We're just gonna kind of fan cast around, try and pick off some roaming fish. I've kind of had my fair share of bed fishing, as you guys have seen in the previous videos, so hope you enjoyed those. Not something I ever get to do, so I always try and do that a little bit when I get up here. But yeah, I guess that's, uh, that's kind of it. Again, Again, hope you guys have enjoyed this content. I love nothing more than coming up here every single year in the summertime for the pre-spawn bite, the spawn bite, a lot of post-spawners. Smallmouth are my favorite, favorite, favorite fish to catch. So yeah, I guess without further ado, we're gonna get uh, everything rigged up and try and enjoy the last four or five hours of my trip before we've got to drive 11 hours back to Kansas. Okay, let's do it. There we go. First fish. First one. Throwing the dead rig. Good. There we go. Yep, just kind of dragging the dead rig around on this flat here. A lot of roamers. A lot of fish on beds, a lot of roamers. That one's blind in one eye. Good first fish. Okay, Tucker's excited. We're all excited. There guys, another cruiser. Just another beauty. Fish on, fish on. Oh, it's a nice one too. Oh, it's a nice one. I'm trying to be quiet because there's a million boats. <laughs> That's a big one. That's a big one. Dark one, dark one, Tucker. <laughs> Spotted one too. Nice. Tucker. Enough. Hey. Just been dragging this Ned rig around on the flat here. Seeing a lot of cruisers, not a lot of beds. I'm trying to stay away from the back corner where all those boats are. That's a good one. Third nice one of the morning right there. Just a cruiser. Not even on a bed. Nice. There she goes. Cool. Fish on. Right in front of the boat. I didn't even see that one. Not a big one though. Not a big one. Just a peanut. Just a little guy. But as you guys can see, we've got quite a significant ripple on the water, which is good. I don't want to see the fish. I don't want them to see me. So just picking off cruisers, pretty much done bed fishing. So just getting what we can get.
There we go. That one I did see. Just swimming around in these reeds right here. Just another small one. Baby. Yeah, there are like 50 boats around. They're all up shallow bed fishing. This one I just saw. Just cruising along in the cattails or the reeds. Small one. Still fun. Fish on. Fish on. Another cruiser. Big one too. Ah, nice one. Just dragging a Ned around the flats. Picking them off. Nice one. Nice fatty. Big fatty. Fish off. a good one. A little peanut male swimming around. black splotches on them. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Super nice. Bye. I lied. I had to catch one on a bed. It was too easy. Too easy. We are hooked up on a cruiser. cruiser. Got him that time. Yes. That's a good one. That's a big one. Long dong silver. Long and skinny. All right, 
Oh, we're gonna think about leaving here pretty soon because I don't know how much more of that we can do. Wow, what an unbelievable morning it is. Look at this beautiful Lake Michigan scenery that I've got behind me here up in Door County. I got off the water a little bit earlier, really just got kind of tired of catching those, uh, those four or four and a half pounders off the same spots. It is Saturday in Sturgeon Bay, Door County. It is busy. There were probably 35 or 40 boats in that one bay where I was. So decided it was time to call it. I've got an 11 and a half hour drive home stopped and got some coffee here in uh, Bailey's Harbor, but just wanted to uh, take the time to thank you guys for the continued support on the channel. It's gaining a lot of momentum yet, so let's keep that train rolling to uh, 10,000 subscribers, but really hope that you guys enjoyed the smallmouth bass content. This is not something I get to do in Kansas on this level. Obviously, we do a lot of smallmouth bass fishing in Kansas uh, on the couple lakes that I guide on for smallmouth, but this is on a whole nother level. So if you guys like the, uh, the Door County smallmouth content, Content, definitely give the video a thumbs up share the videos leave a comment down below make sure you go follow the Facebook and the Instagram pages I have got a new trolling motor to install tomorrow I'm gonna take Monday to rest and then I've got back-to-back -back guide trips on Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday pretty much for uh, the rest of the month so the content is gonna be few and far between unfortunately so I'll try and get everything out that I can but with my guide schedule for the next two months is gonna be absolutely insane. So please bear with me, but if you guys wanna see what I'm up to, make sure you go follow the uh, Kansas Angling Experience Facebook page and also my Instagram page. If you guys wanna book a trip, make sure you get on it sooner than later. My earliest availability right now is probably the beginning of August. So a lot of different opportunities to be had, but once again, thank you guys for coming along for my little vacation up here in Door County for the last week. This is the best place on earth, and if I could live here full time and got here full time, I would definitely come back up here. But anyway, that being said, it is time to hit the road. Tucker's barking and he's waiting on me. So thank you guys so much again for watching, and hopefully I will see you soon.